Hi, I'm Kathy. Today I wanted to talk to you about some of the, um, the things that I learned last August at the annual American Psychological Association conference. If you've been following my work for a while, you know that the highlight of my year comes every August when the APA has its national conference. So one of the first um, things that I want to share with you was some notes that I took on a presentation by Dr. Kendall Coker from Nova Southeastern University. And Dr. Coker spoke on moral disengagement, particularly among African American uh, males in inner cities. Moral disengagement is a term used uh, that we associate with um, uh, young people's attempts to rationalize violence and aggressive behaviors. And the way that it comes about is that if you are constantly surrounded by trauma and violent events, it sort of desensitizes you to it and, and more importantly it allows you to rationalize the fact that it's a normal behavior and so you can still maintain your own personal feelings of high morality even though you may be engaging in violence and aggressiveness. In other words, it sort of sets the stage as sort of norms. And so this is one of the problems if you're working with kids from the inner city schools. They are surrounded by a lot of high trauma which leads to a lot of poor social problems which then leads to this so-called moral disengagement. If you are working with these kids in isolation and then you return them back to the same environment environment which remains violent um, and aggressive, then it, it creates, it, it makes the uh, treatments ineffective. So it's one of the things that they're dealing with. You've got to treat the entire environment. You cannot treat the person in isolation. If you'd like to read some more on moral disengagement or to look at the citations for this, you can go to brains.org.